Hi everybody! So right now I'm waiting for yarn to come into the mail for the next couple of videos so I thought it would be cool to make a little chill home decor idea type of video since I usually make crochet clothes, sometimes I'll do accessories, but I've never really done anything decor related so I thought why not do it now? I decided to take out all of my yarn and this is completely contradictory to what I just said about buying yarn but I wanted to figure out a way to get rid of any excess yarn or use my scrap yarn so I thought making tiny pieces of home decor would be the perfect idea. At first I was going to make this a tutorial video but I have way too many ideas for home decor so I thought it would be better to just make a little chill video talking about the different ideas. All the ideas here are fun and can spice up your room as well as enhance your creativity. Some of the ideas that I talk about come with patterns and others are just like general ideas that you can figure out ways to make a crochet version of it and maybe sometime in the future for some of them I'll make a tutorial for it. Also while I talk about the ideas I'll be creating my own home decor and at the end of the video I'll show you what I made. With all that said let's go ahead and get started. For the first idea in this video, you can make tiny amigurumi to place in random places in the house like how some people have been putting those smisky figures in random places. You can even put them at the ends of your books as bookends if they're strong enough to hold the books in place on your bookshelf. You can also make normal or large size amigurumi to spice up places like your bed, your chair, or your wall shelf. Since I mentioned bookshelves, you can also make your books a part of the decor by making book covers and book sleeves for either all of your books or only some of them. You can create them in a certain way with specific colors in mind to fit the room aesthetic or only put covers on your favorite books so you don't have to search for them on the shelf or the floor. If you have a lamp that has a lampshade, you can crochet a little sleeve for the lampshade. You can either do a basic design with granny squares or basic crochet stitches or you can use grid patterns to spice it up if you want there to be a theme for your room. You can even add more elements to it like attaching crochet flowers to it or adding beads throughout your crochet to give it more personality. For decor around the room, especially if you're someone who isn't capable of keeping your plants or flowers alive, creating fake flowers or plants to have all around the house would be perfect. You can add them to vases you already have, you can create little crochet pots for them, you can make little trees like orange trees or really cute bonsai trees. I think there's a pattern for a lot of different flowers, so you shouldn't have trouble finding one of your favorite flowers. For those of you that do have existing plants, you can create cute little cozies for your plant pots. These can look however you want them to. You can use grid designs to create cute themes for your plant pots, like maybe a mushroom or a series of different designs that repeat around the plant pot. For mine, I just did a basic double crochet pattern until it fit and then slip stitched the back together. Even if it is basic, it still brings the plant pot more personality. You can make really cute covers for any of the remotes in the house and add cute bows to it or a band to it so you don't lose it as easily. For the couch, you can make cute covers for the corners of the arms of the couch. You can even add little pockets to the side of them so you can keep necessities at the couch like the remotes you just made covers for or chargers and little snacks. For the couch, chairs, or even your bed, you can make so many cute blanket designs. You can make different squares of all shapes and sizes and designs and put them together to make a blanket. You can do something freeform where you just create different shapes and then crochet around them until it becomes square enough to where you'll be able to attach them together to form a blanket. You can make the blanket first and then attach appliques to the top of it for more personality you can create big grid patterns of your favorite characters or art. You can even create tiny granny squares and put them together in a way that brings out a design of its own. There's so many options for blankets. Another fun idea that has tons of options are pillows. You can create any type of pillow with just two panels. It just needs either stuffing or a pillow to put inside. You can even make floor pillows, which I think are incredibly cute. This is a floor pillow I made and I absolutely love it. All I did was create six different panels, slip stitched them together, and stuffed it with extra yarn scraps that I had. If you want a giant beanbag chair, well, you can make it. You probably just need a lot of yarn and stuffing, but it's absolutely possible. What I like to do is go on different websites and see how I can replicate certain items. Like this pillow from Urban Outfitters can definitely be crocheted. A cool way to display and organize your earrings is to create a crochet square or rectangle and then frame it with a cool frame you either already have or you can get from the thrift store and have it on your desk or in your bathroom. It gives more personality to your room and is an easy way to store any of your jewelry that has hooks. You can also create 
little organizers to keep all your crochet tools together, which is really cool. Another idea is creating different covers for any size box you own, whether it be jewelry boxes or tissue boxes. You can make them look so cute by making them look like different cakes and adding appliques to them or making them into different animal shapes as well. You can even use granny squares or granny stitch to add different colors and patterns. Another idea is a candle cover. No matter the size of the candle, you can make a super cute candle cover that has bowls on them, ruffles to make it look more dainty or cake-like, or even add a theme to it like these candle covers that look like lotus flowers. Another cool idea is adding personality to your mirrors. There's so much you can do to make your mirrors pop. You can crochet flowers and then hot glue them onto the mirror's frame. You can create freestyle crochet that looks like moss depending on the yarn that you use and then glue that onto the frame and then crochet different appliques like amigurumi mushrooms or butterflies or flowers and then add little fairy lights to put it all together. You can even just add a cool border to the mirrors especially if they're small. You can make an array of different baskets to hold blankets, magazines, laundry and more and I think it's such a fun idea because baskets can be pretty expensive especially the ones that are actually cute. You can even take a lot of plastic bags that you have and cut them up to create plarn and crochet with that for a more sustainable option as well. Another idea is a cute ring or trinket dish for any tiny knickknacks you have around that you'd like to keep in the same area. Whether it's rings or crystals or even rocks you find outside, you can make a really cute dish with different shapes like flower shapes, square, or even circular. They can be made small or large and even into a mushroom like this cute one here if you wanted your earrings to be where the rest of your jewelry is. You can even make the dish have borders to keep everything inside or just keep it without the borders so it can also resemble a table map. The last idea in this category are rugs. You can make any type of rug with crochet, round ones, ones like this one from Animal Crossing, fluffy rugs, and even long runners for the front door. I attempted to make a rug for my dining room, but because I ran out of yarn for my color scheme, I decided to just have it as a rug for my papasan chair. I like to look at designs of rugs on the internet for inspiration that can easily be transferred to crochet, like this checkered rug or the circular smiley rug. You can even look on Animal Crossing like I mentioned earlier and take inspiration from the different designs people make for the game that you really like. I also think this rug would be perfect for scrap yarn, especially if the yarn you have are a bunch of different colors that you can't think of another idea for. You can also make little rugs for the top of your bookshelves or dressers. For the second category, my first idea is a plant pot hanger. I talked about flowers and plants already, however, another idea to implement them into your home decor is by creating them to specifically hang from the ceiling. You can make crochet pothos and even crochet the plant pot it sits in and even crochet the hanger part as well. Another cool idea I thought of takes inspiration from hanging flowers upside down to dry them out. You can create your own crochet flowers or flower bouquets and hang them upside down as well. You can make individual ones to tape onto the wall or even make a bouquet to wrap it with a tie and then place it on a clasp on a hanging thread. I think it'll be incredibly cute especially if you make the flowers with a theme in mind. For example if you want the room to be cottage core themed you can use soft colors for the flowers and make different flowers like lavender or tulips but if you want it to have a more grunge look you can do brown roses or an all green flower. You can also make a little runner for your windowsill. I created one using a double crochet with a chunky yarn and I think it added more personality to the room even if if it was just a basic crochet stitch. It looks incredibly cute and it also keeps the window so clean and away from stains that my plants were making from watering them. You can make really cute curtains for your windows with different colors and textures in mind. They could be lace curtains or curtains that implement different textures and designs as well. You can even create window valances if you have a cute window you want to spice up but don't necessarily want to create a curtain for. And to even further add personality to your windows, you can crochet curtain ties to tie up your curtains in the daytime. You can make them earthy themed by making leaf curtain ties or even add little cute amigurumi into the mix and just make them with really long arms so that they can tie around the curtain and it looks like they're hugging it. I think this is the one idea that's the most expandable because you can create any graph you like into a tapestry. Say you wanted a poster of Hello Kitty, well you can make a Hello Kitty graph into a tapestry and then hang it up on your wall. Any art you like, any movie you like, any music album you like can all be turned into a graph that can be turned into a tapestry. They can truly spice up your wall and the textures you use and the tapestry can bring personality to it as well. You can even add appliques to it just to spice it up even more. 
Say that you have a frame but nothing to frame exactly. You can make a tapestry and adjust it to be the right size for the frame and then hang up the tapestry. You can make a whole gallery wall of different art that you crocheted and then frame them to make them look really elegant. Remember the framed earring stand I talked about? Well, you can make one for your wall too. You can have it any place that's the most convenient to you and even add pockets to it to hold sunglasses or other items like keys and bracelets. You can make a cute wall corner hammock to hold different items like your yarn or small things you don't have space for anywhere else. You can even make layered hammocks where you have different colors on each layer or even different supplies or items on each layer. You can make garlands with any type of crochet pieces like stars, butterflies, flowers, different fruits, moons, and more. They can be hung up anywhere in the rooms or even on the fireplace for added decor. Do you know those beads that hang in entryways that are really cute? You can make a crochet version by adding real beads to your yarn or even attaching different elements like leaves, flowers, or butterflies to each of them. You can make different appliques like crochet butterflies or strawberries and hang it on the wall from the back so it can look like it's floating on the wall. This is a great idea if you wanted more of a fairy or cottagecore theme for your room and if you want you can even do stars and flowers. The last idea in this category are crochet wreaths. Wreaths can have certain colors and themes so that it can work for the room like adding a bunch of different flowers with a certain color palette or even add leaves to it as well. It can be hung up on any doors including the front door or even on the wall as decoration. The first idea in the kitchen and dining category are teapot cozies. I think these are absolutely so cute and gives you so much room for creativity to make them look really cute. Some of these photos are actually knitted, but you can definitely make crochet versions as well. Just look how creative this one is. The teapot cozies have no limits. Another type of cozy you can make are mugs and bottle cozies. Especially when you're drinking a hot coffee or tea, these would be perfect if your cup has no handle or even if it's just way too hot. You can add cute little designs to them as well and just let your creativity shine. For your dining tables, coffee tables, or even kitchen counters, you can make really cute coasters and there's absolutely so many cool ideas you can make for coasters. They can be themed from a type of media you really like, like Hello Kitty or Animal Crossing. You can make them look like animals. You can make coasters that look like tiny rugs, even cute flower coasters. Whatever your style is, you can make them replicate that. Just like the hammocks for the room, you can also make a cute hammock that can hold fruits and veggies in the kitchen. It's a fun way to add more space into a kitchen, especially if you live in an apartment like I do. You can also create oven mitts. Just be sure to make them with cotton yarn so they don't burn you. I haven't made any yet, but make sure you read the patterns well so that you don't end up burning your hands. But you can create really cute oven mitts, and I feel like if you know how to make oven mitts, then you can eventually create cute mittens for wintertime. Another cool idea that's useful and can be used as decor items are pot holders and hand towels. You can use grids to make them look incredibly stylish and cute or even go for a basic design with fun crochet stitches like the lemon peel stitch or the waffle stitch. This can also fall into the rug category but table mats for your dining room table or kitchen counters would be incredibly cute. You can also make table runners or tablecloths especially if you don't like the design of your table. This also helps expand your search if you're in the process of finding a table so you don't really have to pay attention to the tabletop too well since you'll just be putting a tablecloth over it. You can make them with lace or granny squares or even grid patterns that are large enough for your table. The last idea for this category are little shoes or stoppers for chairs and table legs. If you have wooden floors or you don't like it when your table or chairs move a lot, you can make these little cute stoppers for the bottom of the legs of your table or chairs. I think this one that looks like paws are really cute. The first idea I have for the bathroom category is a cute door organizer. You can hold different toiletries in it like shampoo, toilet paper, and more. They can be any size you like and can be placed anywhere even if it's not technically in the bathroom. Another cool idea is a little basket or holder for pads and tampons if you're someone who has your period. It can either be placed by the toilet or under the sink. You can make the basket really cute using any crochet stitch you like or even create a little cover for the basket or bin you already own. I thought this idea was really cute because I I like to have candles, incense holders, and poop spray on the top of the toilet and for some reason it gathers a lot of dust so I think it'll be nice to have a cute little tank topper that can easily be thrown into the washing machine if it gets dusty or filled with incense ashes without a major cleanup. Another fun idea is crocheting a mat for right outside the bathtub or shower or a long runner for your bathroom sink. 
You can use different designs to make it more themed for your bathroom and use cotton yarn to make sure it's okay with getting wet. The last idea I have is bathroom towels. You can use the same ideas for the hand towels here, whether it's using a fun crochet stitch or adding your own grid design to it, but make sure you're using the appropriate yarn for the towel, like a soft cotton yarn, so it can absorb the water properly without being rough on your skin. The first idea I have for the pet category is the super adorable couch idea for your pets. I think this is such a cute and genius idea and you can even decorate the walls around the couch to make it your pet's special little living room. Another idea is making a comfortable little pet bed that your baby can rest or chill in. You can make them circular or rectangular and even add stuffing on the inside to make it more comfortable for them. You can make cute pet bowl covers that can be washed easily and add their names to it with surface crochet or cute little bows to make it a lot more cutesy. You can make cute little toys, preferably for pets that don't rip it up in two seconds like my dog did when I made her a toy. They can be little amigurumi dolls or tiny little mice for cats or just plain balls to get rid of extra yarn that you have. I think hammocks for your pet to sit in are the cutest things ever and such a good idea if you think your pet would sit in it. Especially tying it up by the window so they can have a nice view of the outside would be perfect. Another idea for the window and the last idea for this category is a windowsill pillow for your pet that enjoys sitting down by the window. You can make a pillow that is a lot more comfortable than the hard windowsill so that their viewing of the outdoors is so much more enjoyable. For seasonal decor, you can take all the ideas I've previously mentioned and add themes of the different holidays or seasons and add those into the mix. Some examples include different colored leaves on the garland for fall time, pumpkin pillows or skull blankets for Halloween, peppermint coasters for Christmas, snowflakes for the walls for winter time, and so much more. Another way to implement these ideas is thinking of them in the context of your aesthetics or the theme you want your room to have. So for fairy core, as an example, you can do the mirror border idea that I mentioned with the moss and appliques and then add crochet leaf garlands around the room, create mushroom plushies, decorate your plant pots, and create a cute blanket that has an earthy color palette or mushroom granny squares on it. You can make those hanging leaf pots for your room, create crochet around your fairy lights so it adds more personality to them, create a cute vine curtain for the entrance of your room, or even create crochet trees for your bookshelf or windowsills. For a coquette themed room, you can create lily of the valley flowers around the room or in a vase on your vanity and then add a pink white or red crochet bow around the vase you can crochet a lacy canopy curtain for your bed if you have a frame that allows it you can make tiny jewelry dishes for your desk or dresser you can make cute white or pink candle holders and even a white lacy table mat for your dresser with cute bows added to it a cute hello kitty blanket would fit right in with this aesthetic and even small pink crochet roses here and there just sitting on your bookshelf or table would be adorable for dark academia you you can make fake flowers and then put them into empty wine bottles, make flowers to hang upside down on your walls, you can create crochet butterflies of any color or size and then frame them to make it look like taxidermy, you can make book covers with a dark academia color palette to fit more into your room, you can even crochet tapestries of your favorite art or even book passages and then frame them with an antique frame and hang them on your walls. Now it's time to show you what I've been making throughout this video. So I talked about this earlier, but this is my crochet plant pot. I just did 11 rows of double crochet that fit around the pot and then slip stitched it together in the back. I kind of messed up, I'm not going to lie. I made it a bit too big, so I just sewed it together and it's a bit lumpy, but no one's going to notice. It's, it's in the back. But I think this is pretty cute for my plant and I really like it. Another one that I already talked about is this windowsill little crochet mat that I made. Like I wanted to make it as long as the windowsill, but I ran out of this yarn, unfortunately. So I kind of just put stuff on the side so that it can kind of block it. And then it has the little mat. And I think it really works with like the earthy theme that I'm trying to go for, for the room, like eventually. But I have all of my crystals, my succulents, and two of my pothos plants on here, as well as my incense holder and essential oils and I think it looks really cute on my window. Here is the floor pillow that I made. I'm really really happy with it. 
Um, it has the designs on the top and I made the bottom of it a basic panel. Um, as you can see here, I ran out of yarn, but it didn't really matter because it's the bottom of it. As long as the top and the sides had the pattern, that's all that really mattered to me. And it's all filled up with yarn scraps that I've been saving for the past couple years. So no yarn gets wasted in this household. For one of the first pieces that I made in this video, I made these three lavender plants. Um, I didn't make any leaves cause I just didn't feel like it, but I stuck them in my little shelf right here. At first I was gonna tape them, but I accidentally stuck one up here and it stayed. So I was like, okay, I'll just put it there and it works. And since we're over here, I took a sparkling water bottle and put my crochet roses and another one of the lavenders in here, just as a little decor piece there. I really don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but it's just gonna sit there for now. Here is the blanket I've been working on. Um, there was no way I was gonna finish this in like two days. So I'm still gonna be working on it probably like every day, like a couple rows before bedtime, just to have like a little fun project. But I really like how the colors are going. I'm trying to use whatever scraps that I have, but I wanna make sure that it goes from dark to light, dark to light. And and so far I like, the only part that I don't like is the um, gray part, but everything else looks pretty cute to me. Here is this little rug that I was trying to make. I was trying to make like a runner, but I ran out of all of the yarn. So I was only able to make a little rug for my papasan chair which also has a blanket, which was supposed to be a lot bigger, but I ran out of yarn again. And now it just is a little placeholder for the papasan as well. And the last piece that I have to show is my little leaf curtain that I made. I think it's so, 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 so cute. And it came out perfectly. On the top, I used these little um, command strip thingies. I don't know if you can see, but I used those. I put three of them up there and I just put this part of the curtain in there and it stays perfectly fine. It goes all the way, almost all the way down. Some of them go down, but most of them are kind of like about like a couple inches off the floor, but I think it's really cute and perfect. I hope you enjoyed all of the different ideas in this video and that they helped you figure out ways to decorate your rooms or your entire apartment. I have a Pinterest board with every single thing I talked about in this video, and I'm gonna continuously be updating it as I find more ideas or make my own pieces for my home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.